Netzchat. When I tell you, I always come Netschat. on here, laughing about some serious things. Well, that's all we can do. Yeah, because if you don't laugh, we're crying. We're crying. We're going to laugh, we're going to cry. Because honestly, I've been so overwhelmed with like work and like being alive lately. Being alive has really been taking a toll on me. As I, I, I look like a normal person online, but I'm capping. I am not normal and I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay. No. Yo, me every not... time I'm sad, I listen to that song, you know. The why would song I goes... listen to that though? That would have made me sadder. Yeah, that's why I listen to sad music to be sadder. But then I realized that that's not a good habit. So I kind of stop listening to sad music when I feel, when I feel sad. No, you can't do because you make yourself down in a hole. You remember that um saying when people say, go down in a hole? What? That Twins of Twins thing? Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I just can't remember. What I don't remember the exact thing what it was. But I mean, go down in a hole. Down in a belly or down in a hole? No, go down in a I... hole. Oh, put the money on go down in a hole. Yes! Did Martin just say dog in a bed? This is me. Like a Martin mother. What did you just like say? Like I said, what did you, you just say, boy? Willis? No, but for real though, like life. None of vibes. Mm-hmm. I didn't, that's, that's the only thing going on. for me right now is losing weight. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I never take my life with a cup down to this. Right about now, I'm excited to go and go work out and drink some water. That's it. Some Other than that. You. you know what I'm really excited about? And... Show me if I go work tomorrow and I tell them I can't go drink my slim tea after we plant it tomorrow and I go shit up. I true, you know, you plan for drink it tonight so you can shit up. Peace, but man. maybe I can shit up at work and tell them maybe drink it tonight and then don't go work. Go, go be just cut the belly. Yeah, cut the belly now, behave. Right, true. Yeah, school pick me after tea. um after school girl. Mm-mm, mm-mm. But um I mean, I'm not going go for my life right now. So I'm going to start every day. Mm-hmm. I mean, I find th- I'm doing some research that I find interesting. Well, that's good. Yeah, but you know, reaching away for time. Right about now, I'm just a read. If me to start my business by the end of the year, bridge. Me, like, honestly, me need something to keep myself motivated and happy. People are always like, Daniel, what inspires you to go on? Nothing. Sometimes I'm just there. I'm just like, go on, come up, yeah. go on. Like, I ain't even lying. Like, yesterday... You yeah, go on because you wake up at daytime. Yo, yesterday, I'm home and I'm a ball, right? Yo, why am I like so? <laughs> Yo, I'm easily the saddest person. No, like, people really think I'm okay, no, but I'm not. So, yesterday, I'm home a ball and stuff. I mean, so, you know, say, I really got my father why I got to work because if it wasn't for my father... Or just stay home and be a starving artist and anything I need to cut from my life for go on bunks. You cut it. I cut it. So if it means that I can't afford postpaid food no more, cool. So I'm going to buy a credit. Buy a credit. Cheat. Buy one credit. <laughs> right through. If I be say I can't have cable, internet and phone, I'm going to have just internet. Go on bunks so and can still up, up, upload my YouTube video them. Tom, Tom. But it's like, chill, like... But just have a person for your... You know what I'm saying? And just deal with mm-hmm. them with themselves. But then, you know, this actually dives into our topic because... Guys, we're going to talk about, like, settling. Hi, and guys. And we're settling with life. We didn't say hi. Hey, guys. We've been chatting. Hi, guys. Can you yeah. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Next Chat Podcast. Welcome to another episode. Um, This episode is brought to you by Live Well Pharmacy. And you can follow them at Liverpool Pharmacy 876. I mean, my hand is going to be above it. Shock, put it, put it right as so. well. Liverpool Pharmacy 876. <laughs> yeah. What we are doing? It's a true it up, girl. And you can use the code NETCHAT10 to get 10% off in their locations at Fairview and Fairview Montego Bay, um, in case it's another Fairview. And Portmore Pines. And you have enough ask if Portmore Pines are Portmore. Cool. Mm. They're both connected to a high low. Great. Awesome. Moving on. That's right. So, we're going to talk about settling, but it also feels like me and Daniel are currently settling in life because, I mean, if you want to hear what we've been talking about for the past couple of minutes, bridge vibes, cambada, boss more liquid on, everything. So, it's just like, what is really Yo, there? Because you should look forward to losing weight and me just look forward. <laughs> <laughs> because... What? I, the thing is, I try to find my thing every day. And you know, I have no time because I work from home. I try to find my thing every day. It's none of vibes. I mean, try, you don't have your thing? No. But you're try to find good a new at thing. so... Oh, you want a new thing. 
No, my friend, no, I'm telling you. So I feel like I want a thing that will sit down and I'm say, yeah, my love this so much that me want to do it all the time. Okay. I don't okay. find a thing. All right, fine. Because for me, it's like, you know, it's very easy from the outside looking in. I think Anna Tanya is good at lots of things. So here I am saying, just pick a thing from my heart. And she's trying if to find Benil a thing that get her wish, that me take TikTok seriously every day. Yeah, the thing is, Netanya, I, I think that Netanya has zero whatever tiktok is i think that <laughs> netanya is the bar because when you see not only what she creates but the steps to what she creates i stand so hard because she helped me with that tiktok i'll never do another tiktok you know like the, the one tiktok that netanya <laughs> coached me through manala the tiktok cute maybe one day i'll post it considering the brand won't but true it was so cute and I'm like tired. I was sweating in the brow. And it's like, then you just get your stuff together and you just have to. And she was there coaching me and bullying me through it. And I got through it. And this is what she do just every day randomly. And they're top tier. Cool. Top tier. And mine was mid tier at best. And her her content is always so great, so creative. Excellently executed. Why you say mid tier and I'm and I'm me and you do the TikTok? No, I was in it. So I, I took it down. <laughs> I was the one that carried it down. Daniel, so I was literally a, laying down no, on my no, no, counter no, no, for all no, no, no. with some of the posts, no, no, them no, no, girl. No. I carried down the level of the TikTok <laughs> because it's I me was be in it. Because you know, you know, when they give like your grandma your phone, that's me on TikTok. That's her on TikTok. For I true. legitimately I was don't really bullying her for true. Get it. But Netta, they're young and she born last weekend, so she was able to explain. <laughs> to me but i don't get it but that's what i'm saying like sometimes it's easy on the outside to think that people have it like all figured out because you know for me for netanya to say she's trying to find her thing i'm like netanya have many things you know because she's just good at stuff you know what i'm saying but it, it doesn't matter if you're good at stuff it really matters yeah, um, how it make you feel post it myself. you know what i'm saying that's it's true how it's how it make you feel. feel it's not about oh somebody say you're great at this or whatever or if you're even great at it it's how doing it make you feel does it you know ignite some fire inside of you does it make you want to wake up in the morning you know say in the last two weeks me just know i wake up that makes so sense so hold on where no i wake up <laughs> but you still awake so it every, every time Yo, you get up i think is why you know my friend them watch this and feel like they might text me no the like, text don't you. text me <laughs> i'm not saying to connect with me um people who support me don't text me like i'm not don't need anybody to Hug me right now. Yes, uh, I'm trying to just wake. grow through what I'm going through right now because every year and a half or two years, I get to this point that I'm at. So oh. it's not a need for concern. It just means that a metamorphosis is coming up because I'm always but going the people just big, them first time. Yeah, I'm mm. always going through like big changes. So like sometimes you catch me and I just. Just dead him, just one dead. So then you just don't pay me no money. Like I just need to figure out myself and and like because the thing with me, remember I was telling you guys I've overachieved anxiety. So if I don't feel she like does. my life is doing what it's supposed to be doing, I'm depressed. So we just want just edit. But that's not how you do things, you know. You have to just like regroup and figure out yourself. Correct about now, every day is a cycle. And that's how I feel jumpy jumpy. You understand? It makes sense. Because I have I was talking to one of my I was talking to somebody, can't say it's my friend. I was talking to somebody, and it's a very complicated talk. Anyway, and he was saying to me that all him do, go work, come home, do work in the yard, go sleep, wake up, go work. Do the same thing over. And I'm like, yo, even have your life that's, or your days, I'd be so sad. Oh, whoops. Oh, same thing. Fear and, like, and then him ate him job, and then. It's just so many other things. I'm mean, looking at me and say, yo, me and my job and me I do the same thing every day because even when me, me left work, me come home and work. I'm eat it. You know, eat that work there. No, I love it. Anyway. I choose. And then it just feels like a lot of people that I know personally, them just have cruise through life and them say, you know, when it come, it come. But I don't believe in stuff like that personally because I feel like if people think like when it come, it come, it will never come because... When it <clears throat> come, you have to be there to get it. My thing you is understand? you have to prepare yourself for the life that you want. Exactly. Which is why I'm always talking. Like sometimes I say some things and people are just like, what are you even talking about? And I'm like, I just need the universe to hear me that I am prepared and ready to take up this life that I am describing. So sometimes I, I speak a lot of things over my life. Like I say, oh, you know, 
I'm here growing my hair for my wedding and people are just like, you're not even engaged. And I'm like, even though I'm not, That's one of those I people. need the universe to know that you want to get married. I want to get married. And if I don't talk to the universe like that, how should going know what I want? Like even yesterday after my um, breakdown, I was like, universe, I am prepared for the change that you're going to give me. And I welcome it with open arms. I am prepared mentally, physically, all the alleys for a change in my life. And I'm waiting on you to give it to me. So the universe knows that Daniel is ready for the change. Yes, this is very and true. And then it will come. Method on the light. When I ask twice now, Christ, the change is going to be very soon. Nothing to give you guys with plush, but <laughs> just for sure you say. And I think what I love about myself is I'm always changing. Like people will be like, oh, Tay, Daniel, what you want to be in the next five years? I have no clue. Because in the next five minutes, I could say that I want to be in IT. I love that about myself that I'm always willing to learn new things. And just change my life. And I'm not into the mundane. Like, you know, what COVID-19 is trying to do to me with this. Every day we're doing the same thing. That's true. Again. I mean, I love that COVID. I love it. Because. But I love that about Corolla. Because every day really doing out. the same thing. You get up, you bed, brush your teeth, get dressed, work from home. I mean, or it was worse with, before we could have come out the door. Remember That's that, that true, phase? But. Oh. I don't know, my love. I don't know. I, you know. A lot of I've gotten to know myself better during COVID, but I feel like a lot of things that I want to execute or the great person I want to be is kind of put on hold. Because remember, remember that before COVID, I was saying to you that I don't want to be a digital person anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that the universe is harming me because the only thing that is happening right now in the world is digital? digital. So you, you know, know so that this just makes me want to stick to it. Yeah. What am I gonna do? It's, and, and them something that like literally hurt my feelings because I remember like early in the year saying to somebody that, you know, I can't wait for 2021 to rebrand myself completely as like an entertainment person. You understand? And to know, and like I was supposed to be a part of like major festivals this year and to know that the only festival that was keeping was probably Soul and a Jerk Pan. And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> Our upper island grew exactly. No other festivals <laughs> were kept. So to know that Next year, I will not be an entertainment person. That's just a, that's just the truth. Like what I prepared for this year didn't happen, Perhaps. and I don't know when I'll get to rebrand myself like that. So then it's like I still do a change, and I don't know what the change is gonna be. And chances are, it's going to be in digital, which I didn't want for myself. Even if I want to face up, you're low ticket face up. I mean, if it doesn't feel right, then you don't do it. Because I remember I wanted to be so many things. Like the other day. I was reading something and it was like, write about your career path because I'm actually applying to schools. Mm -hmm. So they were asking me what's my career path and what I want to do this master's. I mean, I said, yo, could I get up and freaking change this right now? And I was, I started writing about being a digital person mm -hmm. because the world is going digital, everything. Sometimes I might as well do the digital thing. I'm already in it. Um, my major is going to be marketing. I will do mm -hmm. my master's in marketing. And there's a digital aspect of it. So I'm going to say, it wouldn't be bad to, you know, learn digital and they will give you like digital certifications with the master's yeah. as well. And they're like, my last the essay. Can you believe it? My yeah. computer just shut down and I could not recover the essay if at I've ever all. seen a sign. And then I was saying to myself, this is so funny because... I know that I'm not that type of person. So I said, Netanya, if I really want, you know, the people in school, I have to be honest. And I was also like saying, I don't only want to be a digital person because if I'm only a digital person, I feel like I'm settling. And I feel like the similarities with me and you is that we're very dynamic people. So yes. if we're sitting in one thing or staying in one place too long, it feels weird. So that's why oh, when COVID oh, come, it make you feel like, say, Jano, I can't come out of this, but... There's always a way out. So if I 2023, I mean, got dentist school. And I'm going to say, oh, yeah, got dentist school. I said, boy, you know, say, I look on two teeth one day, I say, I hate this. I hate this. That's the thing, because it's like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be in a year. I put it to you. I don't even know what I'm doing in December. And <laughs> Girl, we're, we don't fully, after this. we're fully in That's October. True. Because, you know, after this. I'm a mental person. Um. I can't say that about myself. Okay. I'm insane. 
Yeah. I'll go home you. today and quit my job with no plan and just stay home and watch shows and eat cookies. I'm just that person. I just get up and just do things. So it's like I can I cannot even say I know what I'm going to do in December. I was lamenting and crying to my father last night and saying, Yo, Daddy, I just want to be a stay at home mom. Like why somebody can't just marry me and just breed me so I can stay at home. And mom, like, me want to just have kids on YouTube. Me say, I would make a rich the send of my life. Then me say, well, then if you want to receive that life, you have to start doing certain steps Jeez, in your life man. to start taking certain aspects in your life seriously. For example, people say, oh, you know, then you're good at YouTube or whatever. And I'm consistent. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe because I, for me, if you took YouTube seriously, I just feel like I don't have a, a you lot have a more YouTube time. Husband, <laughs> Mr. Like, ah, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I feel like I had a lot more time to YouTube. For me, I feel like most of my time is spent at my job. So in my mind, it's like, no, you take your job seriously or you're trying to be good at your job. I don't think that I'm, uh, I don't think I'm staying true to the side of me that people think that I'm staying true to because I feel like there's just so much more I could do, but I ain't doing it because I'm You know what work. I think it all comes down to is like time management because... Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to do things for themselves because, you know, everybody going into that mind of their own. Um, so people want to do things for themselves, yet to them always have them jobs. So they always feel like they're not allocating a lot of time to their personal growth and their personal projects and what they want to do in the future because it just seems really small now. And I believe it has a lot to do with how you break up your day because me now, if me say me, I go work from... 10 to 2, and from 2 to 4, me, I go listen podcasts, um, rewatch stuff, talk to Shark, talk to Martin, stuff like that. Um, and then from 4 to 6, me, I go go on YouTube. Most of the days, I write that down, but most of the days, it don't happen because I overextend myself into one area, which is always my work because, you know, it's always like priority because it's yeah, a 95, it's but... it's so dangerous. It is dangerous. Because I feel like so many of us are losing ourselves in work. You ever see people at work and you feel sad for them? Every day. I do Even it all the time and I feel like, then you'll manage your fucking business because these people are clearly content. But when I see people and I'm like, oh my God, to think that you could be reaching a higher potential and here you are thinking that this job is your... Is your... Your peak? Is your peak. You think that this position is your peak and there's just so much more to life. Like, today I was at work and I was in the lunch area... Which is quite distanced, guys. Please. Don't chat my workplace. Great. We're nice and safe. And I heard people talking about like some frivolous things. I would consider frivolous things. And them not talk to me. But I had to like stop them in them tracks and be like, guys, you realize that the world is like seconds from ending and like there's a virus that's killing all of us. And just like the small things that we fuss about on a daily basis just really don't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's for me. It's like it's always been like this for me, but even more so now with COVID nineteen. It's what people gonna remember about me when I'm gone. Are they just gonna say, "Oh, you know, Daniel, she was alive and she used to work at this location and she used to"? No, Daniel, she drop out. Yeah, <laughs> they really used, used to a drop out. She drop out. You know, Daniel used to package um cards for distribution. Really, you want pe- That's what you want people to remember you by, like. When you die, what do you want people to remember you for? What's the impact you're really going to have on this earth? Do we really have time to be fussing about small things? Like, to me nowadays, everything is so frivolous. So I'm just like, in the grand scheme, we motherfuckers, we're all going to die. Like, And I want to know that when I die, I feel so fulfilled. Like, I refuse to know that I'm going to, f- I'm finna die. Let's say the world really end like December, she... Me really? I got just dead going to my nine to five every day? Are you crazy? That means what I life tomorrow. is that? Because <laughs> if they were really the same, I'd be able to quit really tomorrow. You're really making me sad. <laughs> sure. But for real though, guys, that's how I look at it. It's like, what impact can I make? Like, I feel so much more fulfilled doing YouTube and seeing people saying, when people tag me in them stuff and say, they nearly made me work out. That made me feel good. Anything else not work or whatever. It's just like, eh. Okay, I did the task and I did it well and congratulations to me. That's why I don't like being defined by my job because if you notice, I barely speak about my job because when people are like, oh, 
You remember when people thought we were full-time content creators because you just never spoke about work? And I love that awesome. for me, you know? And the thing is, you realize that I've become a even worse workaholic during COVID, how? I even was... Because there's more work during COVID. I was even assessing myself today. I'm like, Daniel, are you crazy? People are dying. No, it's the time. You want no, it's to time be to a nine to Because me said to myself, I'm going to quit me and go to Mexico next year. Because I said, after now, COVID slowed me down this year, I said, no, man, I live there, there, out there. Me, you I got to eat. Need to that go to Mexico right. next year. Why? Because that is a goal that you have set for yourself. And I want that, you know, God forbid, you know, when you pass on, we can put two Mexico pictures in your program. Yeah! It don't I said, like, get too long. Remember saying, no, what am I going to do? Put picture on the desk in your program, though? I never. That, the program never First of me. all, you see, if me dead, don't even put nobody with me like in my program. Just put Period. bear me. Period. <laughs> even put my sister, just bear me. Because guess what? My sister's not dead. She alive, she had a funeral. Yo, don't one eat. thing with my mother when she was alive, you know, don't put her on nobody program, you know. <laughs> yes. She's like, no, don't do no, that. Put no, 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 yeah, I believe come here, when, in one of them specifically, me did me the ketchup in a two and have two um puff. You know, look at fake puff you. them. I believe and you. And me in a one purple wedding dress. They tell you when I say I believe you, a hundred percent. This is so Netanyahu. Yeah, that's me. Oh God. Yeah, mm. you know, you know, in the funeral program, them girl, them they put the whole picture in, and them put a little. Look at and then them fade with the picture on one next picture. No, love it I hate it. So as I said again, I me just want to take up the whole mega book for myself. So the, the whole mega book. Make continue. Yeah, the mega <laughs> book for myself. Look, so we know, say if that's how they pass on, we can talk about great things that she accomplished. You know, put, her put podcast, her YouTube picture things, in Mexico. Things about herself. She, she, she. Cause the thing is. When you spend your life building companies, all they do is come and say a few words about them. If they come at all. Need, if they come at all. If them say them have the time. Or if them have the clothes. That's on pool. So it's like me no one be one of those people who who whose life has been reduced to her nine to five job. Cause I want it to be and like, even when I do great things at my job and like, let's say it goes viral or it does well or whatever, me still not claim it. Because I just don't want to be yeah, associated with anything other than the work that is for me. Personally. My then, YouTube, my some of them. What if these people feel fulfilled in them nine to five? This is what I'm saying. That's frightening. <laughs> like, that is absolutely frightening. Like, if you're out there feeling fulfilled in the nine to five, congratulations. Congratulations. Because I can't relate. That's, that's, that's I've feeling never I've, felt I've, fulfilled I in a job to. before. I was thinking about it yesterday too, that I just don't know why I always end up working. Because I've never felt. Sometimes I'll be at work and this is me. I've never Maybe felt so. I've never felt fulfilled in a job. Comment below if you've ever felt fulfilled. Felt fulfilled, 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 fulfilled in a job. <laughs> But then, I don't think I've ever felt a lot of people a always feel empty because I feel like I'm working no, for the man. Everybody's empty. Think about it. However, um, you have people, and these are the worst type of working people. Mm, and you know that you know them, and we know these people personally. Them come to you every day and them complain about all them eat them job and them eat the person <sighs> and One them person chase other person. A uh, two come on man. Trace of the person here today. Never mind, me reach two now. Them do all of these type of things and then guess what? At the end of the day, they're not applying for no work. They're not <laughs> applying for any jobs. You send them to work, them say, I'm a so fix my resume. It never, never gets get applied. Fixed. And then uh, next week, guess what happened? Them come again. You know, something, yeah, that's something I can't wait for life. Leave. Those yeah. are the worst about people because I believe in anything that you do, if you're going to complain about it that much, guess what you do? leave Le oh, peep, people personally me as a friend me that tired for ear you are talking about that so i have told people that i know who complain about them job stop so i said don't speak to me about jobs anymore because you're not making a you're change. not making a difference in your life so what me i go do i'm gonna say i'm gonna say jano you know so that rough every evening While, you come and say jano every evening i say jano, jano. let's say me and japar and at the end of the day when you did it as out. And me say, no, sir, I took a whole nap today. Like, I'll be at work and I can take naps because I bad, I bad my internet every day. <laughs> Yo, sometimes I see internet living some life and I'm like, 
Yeah. Why not anywhere? I took on about one o'clock today. First of all, today I was at work watching your live. Yeah. Right? And my manager came and she's like, Daniel, are you in a meeting? Because she heard it talking to me. I'm actually watching Netanyahu on live. And she's like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah, I'm not meeting anyone here. I'm just watching mm-hmm. Netanyahu on live, wishing that, you know, I could be on live. And here I am. At 11 o'clock in the morning. Yo, when I see Netanyahu going live at 11, I'm like, must be nice. Must be nice. Must be nice. That's what I say about it every day. Every time I see you post something, I'm like, because nice. you know, say I don't take my job serious. Yo, you're killing me right now. No, it is very sad to say. I take my job seriously, but I don't take my job as seriously as, as a person should. So I take I my do, job way too serious. I do That's things as I get them. So I have free time afterwards. And then the thing is, my manager is not breaking my back and saying, Netanyahu, do this, Netanyahu, do that. And then, because I manage different markets, so I have to have free time to give to all of these markets. So if me always I do work for one country, how do I service my other markets? And I have like, how much am I telling you? Five or six? Five or six. I have like five or six markets. And when they message me, uh, I'll always, because I even wake up earlier than I used to, mm-hmm. because there are, all, there are different time zones and everything. And it's like, I have to do all of them work, but at the end of the day, me not make them mad me. So see so when me start feel overwhelmed, I come and I say, I eat this. I way too seriously. So till sometimes I have to say, who well, are going to gym? Because clearly I'm trying to be the, the gym. I like that. Manage up because the thing is, and me taking my job seriously doesn't necessarily have anything to do with my job or has anything to do with how I feel about my job, it's just the overachiever anxiety. Where I feel like I always have to reach for the stars. It's quite inconvenient, you know? Because if you feel like you need to reach for the stars in every aspect of your life, you're going to burn out very easily. So because I know I burn out very easily, sometimes I have to feel myself like pulling away from things to like regroup. Like even today, I was about to just drop down and die. And I said, you know, Daniel? How are you not going to drop down and die? I felt it. I was seconds okay. away from exploding. And I said, Daniel, the burnout is near. Take a deep breath because guess what? We're all gonna die. Ah, and that I is what... I thought something else to yourself. Hey, girl. I don't keep me going today. The <laughs> fuck say all that we are gonna dead anyways. Uh, they say not dead yourself. So. Yeah. Hey! We know that we're the girl. Listen, listen, all that we are gonna dead, so... And not dead yourself. So. But then the thing is, I just feel like, personally, I used to be an overachiever. If me not... But I think that's because of my father still. Like, he used to always uh-huh. push me. No, it's bad. Uh-huh. He'd always push me because everybody in, like... A lot of people on my dad's side of family, them bright. So then they're always like, you know, you're a Mundel. Mundel are like people who get straight A's, people who come first. In a, no, as in legit, them people there, first in a class, first in a year, a whole year group, first in this, nobody drops below a third, right? So when me forward in the dance now, and me say, you the dance and I know vibes. So I always used to be an overachiever because them tell you say, is that thing that your family do. And then... Me feel overwhelmed come here, say, man. Mm, so my father used to do that to me, boho, you know. You mad? Me come from people where can't... First of all, how I knew that I didn't belong with my family, my father got to tell me, say, me come from family where can't do maths. Me? No, my family is very add, good at maths. Me, me, you can't add, you know, to send me a jacket. <laughs> me, a, because me do CXC maths about three or four times, so me is a full suit. I, so I'm like... Three piece. I'm like, clearly I don't belong to these people. So me, they just, me, they give up from early. Me, I say, yeah, man. From me can't add, me know, say, them swap me at the hospital. So, I'm not going to stress out myself. Me. But, um, after that, you know, when me realized that eh, me being an overachiever was for somebody else, and... You let it go. No. What really happened is that what to what end was I putting in all this work? Because everything that I ever wanted from, like, overachieving and wanting to be this and wanting to be that, I never got it. Never. So, me got in Cape, I am getting like a hundred percent on an exam in sixth form. Who get who gets a hundred percent in fucking accounting in a law? May I get ninety eight? I don't get anything less than ninety. And I was so I said, yeah, my be one lawyer, and I was clocking the grades in everything I did, and I never got into law. Me never get girl. I did not get anything. I was stressing myself to be oh achieve first. I guess what me do? I stopped. I may just start par. And I think that is also a bad thing because moving from, you know, having that type of anxiety and everything and letting it go and then just a par. I know that's a chill, all our vibes. That's also a very terrible come take things to calm. So that's why me can catch this up on camera. I'm not taking my job serious because I know that's that's about you. Me, I, just w- like, chill. I wish I was like that because guess what? I can never chill. So that's why me always need a cold compress. <laughs> 
<laughs> call me there, me and, and Yeah, you can't not, do for true. No, because I trust me, if you want to see me get anxious, watch me check my email. Let's watch me check my email and watch my body language change. I haven't as been I anxious my, in so long. As I check my email. Oh, really? I get anxious on a daily basis. No, I try to control my anxiety per day. Mm-hmm. So I try to get through the day with it. My anxiety ever gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> me anxious every day. But yeah, what you say that? That's what I'm telling you. look like I'm okay. I'm no, not, not okay, but... but I forgot to put it in the cartel right there, so... I'm not okay, guys. Yo, I'm look so happy I talk about it, but I just dream me I let it out. Didn't I say this um, to you, like, yesterday, that we talk about serious things? It's like, it's a joke, but me tell it you, like, I am not okay. Me not. Because me want to be... Mm-hmm. Me want to be in a... Oh, Martin oh. attack? Go yeah, on. I got a question. Um, I, I fall in between both of you, like, in terms of... I, I vacillate between both extremes. I completely <laughs> understand. But... You guys ever wake up like first thing in the morning and you have anxiety? That of is the, that is the worst. That is called my day. So hold on, anxiety ever wake you out of your sleep yet? No. Amen. That's all like that. That's all like a gun. Yeah, man. no man, when you get that funny feeling <laughs> in no, 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 yeah, like your sleep man, no. and you wake up anxious. Then no, you some... just said your anxiety have a gun. Have a gun. No, so hold no. on. Her own is a different gun, man. Not only that even the night. No, because my thing is, let me tell you, I wake up anxious. All right, first of all, my boyfriend will tell you. When I get up in the morning, um, about 10 minutes or 15 minutes after the alarm goes off, I don't know what the alarm is for. But 15 minutes after is when I wake up. You're lucky so quick. Me wake up like three hours after my alarm. Mood. That's why you're my hero. And you become pump people money. <laughs> my boyfriend will tell you, after the alarm goes off and he's like, babe. And I've totally ignored him because I don't know why he's calling me. And then I wake up for 15 minutes. They said I literally dive off of my bed in the mornings, you know, like chuck off like, <laughs> Babe, say all right. Chuck off because I'm like so hyper anxious as I open my eyes and I'm like, <gasps> I have a job, which is so devastating to me. Every every morning I realize but I'm I'm employed. Anxiety, I, I wake you. Listen, every morning when I wake up and I realize that I'm employed somewhere, it drives me nuts. So because I just never imagine myself working for somebody and then like, especially when I'm at my boyfriend, it's worse because he works on himself. So I watch him sleep and enjoy his life and it makes me sad. You never sleep enough? No, it makes me sad. Mm-hmm. He's li- he's living well and it makes me it hurts me. To see him working for himself and to see me jumping off of the bed in the morning when I chuck off of the bed and nearly broke my foot every day. He's still in the bed, asleep. And then it's like, I jump out of the bed, net on it, and then I'm like, oh my God, work. Then I check the work group and I realize that everybody was awake before me because everybody wants you up and working. You have to report in the group. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm dead last to report in the group again. And then I was scrambling to get ready and start and then I check my emails and then I realize I'm an absolute failure and I don't know why these people don't fire me because here is my email filled with requests and I have not completed them and I start to feel like a loser. No. And it drives this me not crazy. Sound, this doesn't sound right. This, this happens me. every day. So how do you live? I'm not. Oh, I'm dead inside. But for real, <laughs> this happens to me. Why is that making this up? I never expected it to say it and you're smiling when you're saying it too. So... What do you mean? Like, but that's not what you truly mean. This happens every day. And every day, babes is like, all right. I'm like, no. Yo, I no, remember I'm not. I when I dived off of the bed. When I used to go in office physically, that was me. Sometimes we'd open my eye and then we just chuck off. Chuck off and, and I'm like, <laughs> where am I going? Where am I? <laughs> and then the thing is, by the time we reach out of the room, this is me standing up right on my door. I'm like, where am I go? I don't know for the, and then the thing is, I'm so anxious. I don't know what to do next. So I'm just standing there. And this is me going into work physically. Work start 8 o'clock. I'm here. Wake up 9. And me, I chuck out on the house. And by the time I reach up the room, I realize I'm left. Marcy, what do you say? Fam, a long time more asked a question. Come we used to see you tweet it. I don't know if it was real. Work would have really start at 8 o'clock, bro, God. And you wake up at 9. Listen, it's a hero now. <laughs> How? As simple as this year. No. How? Yeah. Simple country. Yeah. Country. And then, exactly. So you know me now. I reach work for now. But then the thing is like, anytime my eye open, it just open. My girl, let me tell you something. I'm going to have alarm every morning. The jumping up of the bed thing and frantic thing has gotten so serious. My boyfriend was saying to me, baby, you know, it's work from home. So like, you're not actually going anywhere. Like you're diving off of the bed to go into the living room. And that has shaken me up. <laughs> Rashad is like, babes, you're going to the living room. It's not that serious. You dive. He's like, you're diving off of the bed to rush and bathe, to get dressed, to go to the living room. He's like, then he... You get dressed for work from home? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I get up and I bathe and I brush my teeth. And he's like, baby, I'm going to say you have stinking mouth. Relax. You, you know that I'm wearing my underwear? As I get up, 
I check my f- no, I don't check my phone as I get up, but as I get up, I say, yo, anything up, mm, it just like a pass me by because I like to take time. No, even if I wake up no, late, I like out. to take at least like 15 to 20 minutes for myself. Which and is like, important. Recoup and then I take up my phone because I can't, as I, I can't wake and check the negativity. Yeah, like to them, I think they win the Apple Watch from um, Apple King. Don't touch me. I'm going to say to yeah, myself, say, Netanya, I'm going to say, well, you want to check him? I'm going to say, if you win the Apple Watch, oh, it's like a day girl. Never win though. What I mean? I want them to say, I'm going to buy it. Anyway. Right, true. Like, me tell you, like, when, when Russian gets up and sees me in a work shirt, he's always so confused. Even if me, no, even if <laughs> I, because I have meetings almost every day and I am never in clothes. So. Oh, you just keep your camera off? Yeah, I'm my audio off. I'm my mic off. So wait, you're not there. I don't speak. So you say the thing is if them don't, my manager don't text me and say, that's not in a meeting, no one knows I'm there. But I said, I chill. I love that for you. And when them ask me questions, my, my mic can't tell so I'm quick enough so they move on. Camera on. So hold on. So then, I have to, so hold on then I have to put up my nose ring and everything. Like, Russian thinks it's crazy. Like, I have to push up my nose ring and everything as if to say I'm at work and I have on like a a work shirt. You know what I don't like about um a lot of Jamaican companies and Jamaican schools as well is that they try to control the narrative even if you're not there physically. No, it's called abuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that this? When I see Christina show me Joshi in his school uniform doing him work at him de- at him desk, yeah. I'm depressed for Joshua. My because cousin, why is he in his uniform? My um cousin, my auntie posted somebody and the person was fully in PE gears. I hear they them all like jumping jacks in front of the camera, and I'm like, why do people have to do this? And then I saw somebody tweet that. PE the is girl important, ne- Netanya, so that you no. don't get seized PE up and fat. PE is important, but I'm saying, yeah, after you know your PE clothes and the sneakers and everything, no, that's P- not kids are even in their shoes and socks. No, you're crying. Because I could not have a child during this time, because me and teacher would have it out, they would have air about it on news, and they must say, mother ends online school for uh-huh. all. Because, for all. <laughs> yes, because everybody would have to go back to school. And Yo, my cousin just like, figure out school. Then I was like, oh, am I going physically? No, my just said, no, am I going on the tablet? And then a lot of them don't have computers. Them have them frigging phone. I said, I got all the phone in front of your face the entire day. My teacher can't go. <laughs> that, and I, I like my company because, you know, from before even COVID, she reached, you know, me, it's like we wear sweatpants and cocks go to work. And also your company is actually one of the first companies I heard that actually just lock off the dance from before it even got this serious to say 2021. That's quite yeah, responsible. Yeah, from March they, to 2021. They wanted, they wanted you guys to live. I love that for you. But then remember before even work from home, it was easy for my company to do that because we've been working from home for over a year. Ah, true. Yeah, and I was so even we could saying have, that. Uh, like, like, um, That's at one of my previous um, places of employment, I was able to work from home for two weeks out of the month, you know. That's glorious. And I was I always said that I wanted Jamaica to get to that point where we can all we can interchange working from home because I don't think people need to come to um the slave ship to be a slave, you understand? Yeah, because if you can't do the same amount of work from my yard. Yeah, I, I do more work at home, you know, than at work. No, me do more work at work. I mean, don't use the eyeglass. I definitely do more work at home because I think it's the anxiety of it all. I think that I'm at home, I'm so scared that I'm going to waste time that I end up don't waste any at all. Like, none. Like, I mean, when no, I get I mean, up in the morning and I get dressed for my job like a real clown, <laughs> and I go out into the well, living room. Probably the only time I get up is like if if Russian make food and I get up and I eat it and I eat quickly, quicker than if I was at work. Because when I'm at work, yeah, I take busy, more than man. more than an hour for my lunch. Because when I'm at work, you know, I have to skylark and kick, 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 kick. But when I'm at home, I'm not skylarking. I don't waste any time when I'm at home. So I'm actually ten times more productive when I work at home. But at the same time, I don't know if it's good for my health because then your home becomes your office. It's not your fortress anymore. Yeah, that's why I need to move. So, we can't come there and work at daytime over our estates, but we need to move. However, you see me you now, girl, we're just so opposite. Because you see me, if I feel like, say, me I do too much things at work, I say, yo, I go all at five, you know. Natalia, that is such a goal. My sister you can't text me when you go take the five, I'm going to take one too. All right, because me text But my is, five always turn into nine hours. I hear that for you. Yeah. My thing is, I, I don't know the balance. I don't know the balance because I'm so obsessed with being an overachiever. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have any At least for that. one thing about your girl, I'm back to the topic, you know, settle. Because you know you're always No, no, over- no. Me always have a plan, you know. <laughs> Trust me, if you, no, if you see me, 
If you see the near in one situation where she don't want, you know, you not have to ask twice, not Christ. If me not happen slow, so not all of my plan, them have deadline come. It's a girl will work with time. Me not work with, oh, we'll see, or what the future holds, no, or tomorrow may bring nobody don't know how to eat Hey. That's what you say. Hey, first of all, my December finna be lit, lit, lit. First of all, I'm going So that's on poo. So everybody big and swarty for the winter. Like when I go hibernate, me when I go sleep, and I love that for me. Oscar proud settings. And my metamorphosis. I come December. December. December well, December. Girl, if life not, if my life not feel alright by December, guess what? I can't make it to 2021. Me not gonna 2021. I feel so, you know. I come for the podcast, you know. I'm gonna feel that inside, you know. Me not do it. I mean, so January, man, day, you I know, guess. come on the podcast, I say, I'm not lying. Life nice. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And uh, me not give off shit. Ah, uh, good. Uh-um. Report. Tory Lane's charge in shooting of Megan Thee Stallion faces 22 years in prison. Who doesn't care? Daniel. I don't care. I know when I see a girl, so you have to. Very, no, I was going to say to you from in the car, I don't want to She don't want to move. She she look at each. Hey, first of all, <laughs> first of all, Next time I think someone in our mood, I just in our mood for life because I'm just so tired from work today. And next time I would even understand, say I was looking through the window and thinking it would be great to jump out. But I don't like to take those things out of my friends. So I like to like take my time and listen to some music. So I was listening to some um Kaylee songs to get my spirits up. Yo, Kaylee song does wonders for you, you know, wonders. like anytime me, you know, I'm bad mood, I hear some skin out, tight, 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 put on me. I'm going to hear them things that back shot on. That's what I want to hear. Them That's little something that lizard about. lap. Mm-hmm. And that is absolutely correct. And I'm no, going to hear. No cap on this app. That's what I want to hear. When yeah, when, when people are saying push the window, they don't them something with them. I say, yeah! yeah! Love that. Yeah. Yeah, I like them something with them. Them music, they can make me get you now in good mood. And then, you know, I just feel, I say, what is sad for? The thing is, even if I'm in a mood, by the time I come up to the podcast today, I know I'm not going in the mood anymore. Like, but we just hungry. Or I just need to sit down on the couch and I feel all right. But yes, guys, the point is, don't settle. If you're in a one bad situation, anything pl- at all, plan your exit. If it is that you want, left the dirty boy. You saw that um person, their dream or pink was saying that them feel like them boyfriend over them because them can't leave and the boyfriend treat them bad and this is not like them. No. So they want to know if there's any older man in Kingston. been for the past few days. Oh, them asked if there's an older man in Kingston. Somebody tagged me in it and said, this is so ironic after the podcast episode. Oh yeah, somebody said they never, never ran because it's not like we over somebody before. Never have we ever. Never we just we just know the information. Yeah, we just talking to them. Just talking things them. But yeah. yeah, I feel like nobody can. You see, when you build a money on, guess what you do? Take up a rag. Cause I let them use other people. You see, when the rag disappear when they have boy yard, I the boy gone over you. <laughs> yeah. Hold no, on. People use no. the rag. Is your rag? You them use a rag when you bid with it. So you see when them carry rag the other man girl, them carry rag the other man, the man work him up upon the rag and everything, and then them bring back the rag with the oil and everything they put it on. And so they bring back the rag and you bid with it, guess what happened? Yo, Obiara. in case you guys are wondering why I'm looking like this, it's because <laughs> I most definitely leave my rag. <laughs> I trust it. Because no, I basically live there. Yeah, I have to take up a rug. Remember one time? Remember another time? I'm an idiot. Be tired. Where's the gold? <laughs> right, true. No, but I real thing. I said, them, I said them do the, them carry it item, go to other man, and then come back and make you use it. And I say you get tired. I never know when it's so why you never provide me this information for life before. But you know now? So you're going forward. You know, so you're going to have to wear a yard. You know, you take up a rug. Right? And them say, no, leave my the shark could never cut that part of me, for me <laughs> post because you don't see the, you don't see the fear that I come here and say, <laughs> my rag. Yeah, I've read it a lot of times that them rag them use. I'm very cultured. No, sir. Even for something that I personally don't believe in, but. And we don't do. Come on, people don't see so we're out there. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not bad enough. Hey, I told me no one time, no man to me. Did you see that too where the girl said, Lord? No, she said, Allah, the men that you've put on earth to build houses and provide out here trying to be podcasters. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> because then may I say, yeah, them chat too much because this is before the most accurate before they're going to build a house. Like, oh, house and provide some things for them woman oh, them attack pa, my. I miss when niggas used to die at war. My girl, my favorite I'm genre, man, that. <laughs> I'm pure. No, me actually, I didn't laugh. I was saying to somebody today, I was reciting a tweet, and I was like, boy, other than being podcasters, men are always in women's business somewhere they should never be. 
And he's like, I'm never in any own business. I'm going to say, you're in it right now. Right now, you chat too much. Chat too much, chat too much, chat too much, chat too much. And you're going to carry yourself in. You're in our business. Period. Same thing. But like when I posted my post the other day and said, talk to Marga or something like that. And the guy was like, Marga, where I'm like, poor thing. Don't understand a fuck. Nobody not you even know, not I talk to, jump to you. On him. Nobody not even not talk to you. Oh, you're really Nobody didn't even mention him. Oh, I because don't follow you. I feel, I feel just lack of mentions to people. Because some bite oh me. Oh my God. What you ask? You mess up with the she? Hey, girl. It worked quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Express. <laughs> Express, Obia. Mention that to my name. That's my new Twitter name, Express Obia. So if you want to see it, you don't know why. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, <laughs> always have your exit route. I'm feel like mm-hmm. this is not a, even if it's not your dream that you're going to next, but you can't stay in the situation where you're in no cars. Remember, say, if you're with a boy, you're a boy. Now, you're going to do something, you know, you know, say, you yeah, have a next... plan for all your good team father. <laughs> I tell you from have a good daddy because some of them boys some boy know, 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 know them daddy. But some of them boys know them father. They don't know them father and that's on pool. So just take him mother. And that's on period. All right. All so right. anyway, take it to just there with somebody. Mm. Anyway, guys, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Um, Share up on the things because you know it's still breast cancer month and we are going with ourselves. Yeah, share. I'm so excited actually. And that's on pool. I call, I was talking to Cancer Society so they told me how to go about the go about. Oh, nice. Yeah. So... Get to know my grandma, she is. Mm-hmm. Well, 14 years old. Uno, young. So, Breast make sure you're doing your self checks. No, man, someone really. I, I'll just stop. Anyway, and shout out to our sponsors, Live Well Pharmacy. Hey, you can get everything at Live Well, like legit. Legit. Everything. everything like, I am due a Live Well haul soon. I love like girl, me go li- you go live world as the things where you, know, you never know it exists before. I never didn't know say you want, but now you want it. Yeah, when we I find the crack me. eel sitting, you know, say, like, me have got to some from my granny. Because if you eel crack and she all laugh down. So <laughs> I better go back forget the silk pillowcase then. If you go back, go back. Oh yeah, so you're going to buy that. Um, But anyway, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Listening. Everything. Yeah.